you can personify the world as being a thing. You know, you hear people say stuff like this, like, you know, the world is an evil and mean place and it will try and break you down. I've even nodded as Goggins said something similar on the podcast. And I, I, there are degrees to how it can be useful to see, um, to be um, alert to threats out there and to have resilience ready for things that are difficult to occur in the world. But the world's fucking indifferent to you. The world doesn't care. And personifying it and creating a an enemy out of the world, I think, is pointing the finger in the wrong direction. It's like, it needs to be turned inward. You are the person that knows all of your weaknesses. You can say the most disgusting, terrible things to yourself. You know all of the trigger points that you should go through. You chastise yourself for falling short, even though you've tried your hardest. Like, you are your own worst enemy. There will never be anybody that can be as brutal to you as you can to yourself. Realizing that helps you to ameliorate this adversarial view of the world. The world is just a tool. It doesn't care about you. There are some people out there who genuinely have enemies, right? But it's a rarefied strata of people, and they've done Tind- something. Tinder swindler. Tinder yeah, swindler. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think so. There's the nihilistic version of that, or it could be framed as nihilistic pessimistic, which is, well, nobody cares about you, and therefore it's like, well, what's the fucking point then? But it goes back to the root opening of the conversation, which is ideas are probably more important than people. The concept of electricity is so important or the the idea of critical thinking or whatever it is. This is why ideas are so much more important. And you can find as an atheist or an agnostic, you can find God to some extent in these ideas of something that's way bigger than you, that can last way longer than you, that is so, so damn important.